Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today, in less than five minutes, I'm gonna show you the five essential tools that you need to be an awesome Python software developer. So let's jump right into it. The first tool I'm gonna show you is python.org. Head over to your browser and type in python.org and you'll be at the official website for the Python Software Foundation. This is the organization that maintains the Python language and so when you come here, you can download Python for almost any operating system. You can find getting started guides and you can find the official documentation for the Python language. There are two versions of Python. We're always going to be working with Python 3 on this channel. So make sure that when you're looking at the documentation, you're running, um, you know, you're looking at the right uh, version number for the type of Python that you're running. Uh, you'll find the language reference right here, which is gonna show you everything specific about how Python works. Um, this is an excellent source for you whenever you have a question about the Python language. You'll always find tutorials and other stuff here. So this is an excellent website to bookmark and visit frequently. Okay guys, the next tool you need to know as a Python software developer is how to use the command line. On a Macintosh, uh, you can find the command line by doing your spotlight search, which is command space, type in terminal, and hit enter. This is going to open a window where you can either open a Python shell and code your Python, or you can just run a Python file from right here. On a Mac, it's called a terminal, and in a Windows, it's called a command prompt. I'm going to make a separate video for each operating system to show you guys how to master the command line. This is one of your most essential skills of being an excellent developer. The next tool you need as a developer is going to be an editor. I highly recommend working with Visual Studio Code for two reasons. Number one, it's free. And number two, it's incredibly powerful. You can get Visual Studio Code by typing VS Code into your browser and searching, uh, go to this result, code.visualstudio.com. And you can download it right here for any operating system that you're working with. VS Code works for all kinds of programming languages, and I highly recommend using it when you're working with Python. It makes your code look beautiful, it's super powerful, and the best part is, it's totally free. But if you don't want to work with Visual Studio Code, that's fine. You can just type in best Python editors into your browser and search. You'll find a hundred options, uh, and many of these are really powerful and great, and most of them are free. I highly recommend using a free editor for all of your Python programming for right now. Um, you know, once you become a better programmer, you may want to pay for an editor, uh, but there's no reason to pay for one now when you're just getting started. Once again, I highly recommend Visual Studio Code as, a, as an editor for Python. Okay guys, the next tool I'm gonna to show you is stackoverflow.com. This is a community-based forum style website where you can come and ask a question and the community is going to come together and answer it for you. So you can search Python questions, or you can search a specific question. You'll see right now there's currently over a million questions. Many of these have been answered. You can see there's 75,000 pages. Let's find a question that has a lot of answers. Okay, I'll show you how this works. You ask a question, and then people start answering it. You'll see there's a lot of answers, but you always want to look for either the accepted answer or the answer that has the most votes. Because what this means is that the, the community here of Python developers on stackoverflow.com uh, collectively agrees that this is the best or one of the better answers for this problem. Uh, a lot of times on Stack Overflow you will see code. Um, don't get into the habit of copying and pasting this code, uh, but learn from it. You know, Come here as a resource to learn. Stack Overflow is an excellent place to learn about all kinds of things or ask questions that you can't figure out on your own, but just be cautious. Don't, uh, don't start copying and pasting code from here because what we want to do at this channel is teach you how to be a better developer. And good developers don't just copy and paste from Stack Overflow. Good developers learn from Stack Overflow. All right, guys, the last tool I want to show you is how to find answers to your own questions on your favorite search engine. So go to your favorite search engine and start typing uh, whatever question it is that you might have. So a good developer, when they get stuck with a problem that they don't know how to solve, they learn how to solve the problem on their own. One thing you do is just type in your question, 
you hit enter and your favorite search engine is going to give you a lot of results about how to solve that problem and so um, you might find uh, videos on YouTube or documentations from python.org or you might find tutorials from some other website but whatever it is is um, learning how to search your questions on the internet and solve your own problems is going to be an essential skill as a software developer companies want to hire people that know how to solve problems and that's going to make you really valuable all right, guys, that's it for the five essentials that you need to be a top-notch Python software developer. Stay tuned for more videos, and I hope you have a wonderful day.